Hello everybody, Davey and all these coins. Welcome to what's on Dave's desk for this week. Uh, I've got a few little things. First of all, I'm at the post office. Uh, and I learned to be on the campus side. I've kept up for you. I come in and somebody's changed. Do you want it? Uh, I said the bears, but you know the rest. And uh, so we've got that. Very nice. So I'll go in the... Uh, Stash of my Olympics. She also had this 20p from the other man. She said she's saying what it was, and because she's noticed technically it's a foreign coin, she couldn't put it in the trail. But she put it to one side uh, in case I want to have a look at it. Other than that, it was going to go in the bin. So, she kept that for me. So that will go my little stash full of 20 peas. Marvellous. I'm over the moon with a young lady sorting them out for me. Next door, my son's friend gave me a box full of coins. Uh, world coins, etc, etc. But one of them was this. Now, you can see the date on there. 1863 and I was just astounded by the condition uh, at 1863 penny uh, we'll be going back to him uh, uh, but I've asked a couple of people and they reckon in this condition 15, 20 quid so he's happy as Larry nice old Victorian 20, uh, 20p. Think about it, dear. Nice Victorian penny. Don't tell anyone I said that. Right, I'm back on the camera. Next, I got two more coins. Uh, the King's Coronation coins. That one is the uh, part of the national anthem from Mrs. One from Alaman. Usual specs. And that one there, we all know, it's the Queen Memorial coin. So I have this now in a couple of different uh, packages. I'm going to have to dig them all out. I think I've got one with a blue card with a gold border. But this one, I think I've got the blue carded one as well. So I've got them. Put them over there. Uh, I also got two change checker cards. We'll have a look at them later. I got this one, the Ada Loveless two pound coin. I did say on somebody else's channel that does remind me a bit of the King, Ch uh, King Charles. King James Bible, two pound coin, and he just said it reminded him of Domino's Pizza. But that's the latest one in the uh, in the science section. Yeah, science. You know what my English is like. You wouldn't think it was my first language, would you? But. In saying that, Mr. and Mrs. Snappy did a good video on that. Uh, I'll leave a link to their channel below. Go and have a watch of it. He did a very good, very, very good video on it. And I dare say Glenn Macamola Coin will do an equally good a job when he turns up, which, no me and Glenn, it'll be on today's programme. So I'll leave a link to Glenn's channel down below as well. So that's that one. And... Been buying myself a little bit of silver. Here we are there. Don't know why, but my camera keeps going dark. Um, it just let's put that off. Make me too bright with that. I'll put it down there. I'm going to zoom in on it. Huh? There we go. Look at that. 
39 silver. Now this is classed as a round because it has no denomination on it. So this is a silver round, not a coin. Uh, that side. A lot of Dago, Asgard. There's a couple of them in this series, so I'm going to see if I can get all of them one at a time. Uh, so, I thought there was a, a lot of detail in that for a silver coin, a uh, silver round. So, we'll put that to one side as well. And we'll zoom back out. No, the other, the other way is out there, uh, that one's in. Ah! Uh, I've been buying myself a set from Guernsey. It is the one balls. Uh, I remember sitting watch the one balls on a night, five to six before the news. Oh, I you know it weren't Tomsk and all the rest of them. Oh, childhood memories. I'll leave that there. Yeah, I assume it's in focus because everyone knows what my eyes are like. You have a little read of that. Uh, a little bit at the bottom. I like the way they've got it like it's stuck on with Salisurp. Anyone who knows the Wombles knows why. We'll have a zoom in again. It's a little like that. So there. That'd be great Uncle Bulgaria, if my eyes have served me right, but it's not. You tell me, yeah, that's great Uncle Bulgaria. There we go. I've just noticed the 50, so it must be 50 years of the, of the, of the um, Wombles. And Madame Shirley. And then we have, who's that? I give my eyesight, it does say there. there. You can see it, you can see it, I can't. I should have been a bit more prepared, shouldn't I? But you can see who it is. Yeah, it's either one, yeah. what's his name, written at the top. And... My favourite, Orinoco. It was my mum's favourite, it still is my mum's favourite. And the Wombles coins. Nice little tet. Zooms out, no he doesn't, he tries to. That's it, Jeff's desk, uh, realistically. So let's have a look at them scratch cards, shall we? Let's do the envelope that came in, so what... Uh, I was going to use up the rest on, but take a leather worktop now. I don't need to. Let's see what we got. Uh, ah. Ah, Battle of Britain. Yep, you don't know what it says on the coins up there. All the relevant details down there. We've all seen it. We all know what the score is. Battle of Britain. And this one. What we got here? Oh, Platinum Jubilee. So I'll put that with the other ones that I uh, don't keep. Well, I keep them obviously, but I'm not bothered about them. I'll clean them off properly later and put them away. Oh, oh, oh dear, it fell on the floor. I'm mad. Clean and look at it later. So that's it. Bit of silver. The Ada. Is it Ada Lovelace? Yeah. Two pound coin. Innovation of Science. Couple from the post office, which the lady kept me. Two there from the uh, coronation set. A nice conditioned penny. 
I got set from the one bolt. Well, that's Dave's desk for the day. So I appreciate you joining me. Hope there was something there that you liked. Stay safe everyone, take care, and hopefully we'll see you next week. Bye-bye now.